So you head into Paris soon and putting together daily itineraries to ensure you'll get in everything that you want to see and do? That's a very smart move. This is not the kind of trip where you can simply show up and everything magically falls into place for you. There are so many differences there compared to what you're used to back home, even in everyday life tasks but especially in the many attractions that you want to see. So having a plan or at least a framework as well as other research is a must or you'll find yourself wishing that you had. Hey y'all, it's Scott, the basic American dad abroad. In this video and our others, my goal is to help you accomplish just that and much, much more. This is part of our Paris 101 series playlist, which is a collection of bite-sized videos on the subjects that you need to know to have a good foundation for a fantastic time in Paris. In this video, I'll be outlining suggestions on how you can efficiently cover several quintessential sites from world-class museums to iconic structures to beautiful parks and more with an elegant dinner and spectacular sunset that other folks only dream about. And as you'll see in our three other daily itinerary videos as well, we're doing this ergonomically to save some steps and some hours so you can get the most bang for your buck and your time. Plus, in all four of these daily itinerary videos, you should be able to interchange some of the attractions somewhat, especially if you have more or less than four days there. But I've structured these with the utmost efficiency in mind, being doable, and we've done them all, but not terribly exhausting. All right, this day starts out early again to beat the crowds. And today we're heading to the Natural History Museums. Yes, I said museums plural, because there are more than one. Now you could substitute one of Paris's many other museums that may interest you more, but the Natural History Museums are very unique and world-class. And opening time is the time to be at Paris's most popular museums, some of which do get rather crowded, and be sure to check their website for the operating hours on the day that you're going. The Natural History Museums are located in the beautiful Jardin de Plantes. The largest and most well-known is the Grand Gallery of Evolution. My daughter's favorite as a biology major is the Gallery of Comparative Anatomy. Two additional and smaller galleries, Botany as well as Mineralogy and Geology, round out the four separate but nearby buildings. And each of the four requires separate tickets, which are best to get in advance. Now, I would highly recommend that you start with the most popular, again, at opening time to beat the crowds, and that is the Grand Gallery of Evolution. We once tried arriving there at 1 p.m., and even during off-season, plus having tickets in hand, they were already at capacity. So if you're doing more than one, you should budget at least three hours for this. It's also good to check out the internal layouts in advance to ensure you'll definitely see your key items. But by two to three hours, you'll probably feel overwhelmed and need to move on. So now we're moving on with the rest of today's incredible itinerary. And we're doing that with another bike ride. In a couple previous videos, I spoke at more length about Valib bikes, so be sure to check them out for details. But for this day, it's a really fun and scenic way to get from Jardin de Plantes to Jardin de Luxembourg for lunch. Why are we going there? Well, today is another picnic day, and you've got a giant and beautiful restaurant right here on one of these many benches. So be sure to have all of your supplies ready in your backpack. And that sounds like a good break to check in with Christina right quick. Merci, Dad, and bonjour, everyone. In each of our Paris videos, I would like to teach you some key words or phrases that will really help you during your stay in France. Since this is the final video of our Paris 101 playlist, it's only fitting that we cover some farewells. Our revoir is how you generally say goodbye. But to bid someone a good day, that would be bonjour. To say goodnight, it's bon nuit. But since we're not really saying goodbye, I'll say a biento, which means see you soon. Because the basic American dad has a lot more ahead for other destinations that you should check out next. So for Paris, I really hope that my mini French lessons help you and your family have a wonderful trip in Paris as we have had. Back to you, dad. Merci beaucoup, Christina. Now, for the rest of your afternoon, we're covering more of the left bank. From Luxembourg Jardin looking east, you'll already see the Mammoth Pantheon, and it's just a short walk away. You can marvel at its magnificence from outside or go inside, and advanced tickets are optional this time. Working your way north and west into and around the Latin Quarter, you'll find so many things to do in this very eclectic area. I'll let you fill in the blanks for hours of sightseeing according to your tastes or must-sees that you'll research in advance, of course. But I do recommend checking out the stunning church of Saint-Germain-de-Prez. It's the oldest church in Paris, 
very unique architecture and brilliant colors inside. A real masterpiece and historical gem. And as you walk up to it, there's a diverse market along the Boulevard Saint-Germain with interest in shopping and colorful character. This overall area and these experiences may take several hours to soak in, just to keep you on budget with your time. Which brings us to dinner time. And since it's your final night in Paris, you want to go out in style at a place like Le Procope. Of course, there are many very elegant fine dining restaurants in Paris, but we chose Le Procope not just for the food, which of course we enjoyed, but more so because I'm a history nerd and this is the oldest restaurant in Paris with a very colorful history since 1686. Through these doors have passed many historical figures and I'll let you read up on that if you'd like. But the experience was even more delicious than the meal. After dinner, for your grand finale, work your way to the Pont Alexander, preferably at sunset, but after dark is okay too. From Saint-Germain, it's not direct via the metro, but doable with some connections or other modes of transportation that we talked about in earlier videos. Here, you've got an unobstructed view of icon Paris landmarks set from one of the most ornate bridges in the world. It's quintessential Paris and you'll see why it's been featured in so many movies, but tonight you're making your own. I'll let these snapshots we took do the talking, but a camera really can't see it all. You'll want to experience this for yourself. Of course, you don't need to follow this itinerary to a T. These are simply some suggestions and ideas in an ergonomic order to save you time. And you'll have plenty of time amidst all of this to take breaks and just soak it all in. All right, this actually concludes our Paris 101 series. To be sure you didn't miss anything, be sure to click the playlist link that'll pop up in just a few seconds. I really hope that this helps you and your family have a wonderful time in Paris like we have, and that you go back home with no regrets or missed opportunities, but rather with the most incredible experiences and memories because you researched and planned it very well. And I thank you for letting me help you with that. This was literally my first time doing anything like this on YouTube. So please pardon my novice imperfections along the way. I would love to hear what you've got planned for your upcoming trip, or perhaps what you've learned from previous trips. Or if you have any additional important tips or things that I didn't cover in my brief overviews here, please help us and others by telling us all in a comment below. And if you got something out of this, please hit the like button. It lets me know that you did and it helps others see it as well. Again, this video is not exhaustive and many other subjects are covered in our other videos on this playlist. And I didn't want to bore you with repetition. But this is the end of our series on general Paris how-tos. So be sure to check out those earlier videos going into more detail to help you prep. Thanks for watching and I'll be back with more videos from other cities as the adventures continue. So I'll see you real soon.